हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स रिसेंटली आई पुट अप अ वीडियो ऑन प्राइम नंबर्स द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द प्राइम नंबर्स दैट इट इज इफ यू टेक द स्क्वायर ऑफ द प्राइम नंबर्स दैट स्क्वायर इज वन मोर देन ट्वेंटी फोर टाइम्स समथिंग and uh, it was appreciated by one and all and you wanted me to come up with another video on prime numbers so this is a special video for my subscribers in which i am going to tell you an amazing method through which you can actually locate the 46 prime numbers between 1 and 200 yes there are 46 prime numbers between 1 and 200 so you must have seen so many uh, videos on youtube uh, where Uh, they have uh, you know demonstrated the method for finding the prime numbers between 1 and 100 now i am going to extend that method up to 200 so 1 to 100 the process is little easier 100 to 200 the process can be extrapolated with some additions in the process so watch the entire video this is a special video for locating the prime numbers let's first talk about the numbers 1 to 100 so as you can see a grid here i have taken up 100 uh, numbers the first 100 natural numbers and i have written them in rows of 10 each okay you must have heard about the famous concept of the sieve of eratosthenes i may pronounce it wrongly but you may check on google whether my pronunciation was correct or not that's an amazing concept in which you know Uh, they have given a process through which you can find the uh, prime numbers between one and one hundred. So very quickly, I'll demonstrate that because my uh, main focus of this video is to tell you the prime numbers between hundred and one and two hundred. So watch. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to eliminate all the even numbers. So one is obviously it is neither prime nor nor opposite. So I have. Uh, taken that out so it is out of question even numbers the 2 is a prime number so i am going to encircle the 2 but all the numbers which fall in the two times table they are all ruled out because they cannot be prime so you can see i am ruling out all the even numbers here so all these are gone then next up we have the number 5 5 is a prime number and in the table of 5 you find all these numbers and so this column is also ruled out so i have only four columns now one ending in 1 ending in 3 ending in 7 and ending in 9 out of these how many 25 numbers are prime now what do i do after this the number 3 is a prime number and i need to rule out the numbers which are multiples of 3 and then rule out the numbers which are multiples of 7 let's do that now so if you see this 3 you see the diagonal elements they are all divisible by 3 right so let's rule out this in Uh, six rule out this entire diagonal, and then you have the nine, which is not prime, and rule out everything that lies along this diagonal. And likewise, you may go for some other numbers also, which still are there in this, like the number thirty-nine. It is divisible by three, so from thirty onwards. all these which lie along this diagonal they are also ruled out and finally we have another diagonal here 60 this is also ruled out and finally we have the diagonal which contains 90 so you can see they, these are actually symmetrical and likewise we have the multiples of 7 So seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. If there is any, let let us check thirty-five, forty-two, and then forty-nine. Forty-nine is it is not prime because it is a multiple of seven. So let's rule this out. Then fifty-six, sixty-three, seventy. They are all ruled out. Then seventy-seven. 
84 and then 91 and then 98 so you can see the numbers which are left here they are all prime now so 11 is a prime number 13 is a prime number 17 is a prime number 19 is a prime number 23 and then 29 then 31 and then 37 then we have 41 43 47 and after that we have 53 then 59 61 after this 67 and 71 73 79 and then 83 89 what else we have 97 and that's it So you can see how many numbers I have encircled. Let's count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Right? So these are twenty-five prime numbers, and this concept is known as the sieve of Eratosthenes. Okay? So. Quite easy, right? This is uh, like one of the easier things available on the internet. Now coming to the typical part. The second part of this particular thing, this can be taken up by drawing this grid which I have taken here, hundred and one to two hundred. And now this is going to be a little challenging, so watch carefully. Now the first number, hundred and one, this is a prime number. So you need to remember that. Hundred and one is a prime number. After that, the number hundred and two is an even number, so that cannot be prime. And the entire column is even, so that is ruled out. Similarly, hundred and four, entire column is ruled out. Hundred and six, hundred and eight, and hundred and ten. So all these columns are ruled out. likewise the one ending in 5 this has to be divisible by 5 so this column is also ruled out since everything ends in 5 now out of the four columns which are left the ones ending with 1 then 3 then 7 and 9 out of these we have how many prime numbers 21 prime numbers and now how to find which one of these are going to be prime let's start from 102 so 102 is not prime and look at this diagonal let's cross out the diagonal which contains 102 after that leave two numbers 103 and 104 move on to 105 this is not prime and the diagonal the complete diagonal is ruled out likewise leave two more and start from 108 and rule out the diagonal like this Now, 109 and 110. So leave two and come down here 120. So 120, the diagonal contains all these. Now they are going to be ruled out. Then leave two more and move on to 150. So 150, the entire diagonal. This is ruled out. And finally leave two more and 180. So another diagonal. now we have two more but we don't have anything after this so we can terminate this process here now this is about the diagonal elements after that there is only one step which is left and that step is the three numbers which now you have to consider are 7 11 and 13 that's it so if we can eliminate the multiples of 7 11 and 13 from the remaining numbers we will get to our final answer so the multiples of 7 you see 7 15 times is 1 of 5 right so let's rule out more numbers from this so 105 is the first multiple of 7 after that 112 119 here see this is a multiple of 7 so rule that out after that you have 126 133 133 ruled out 140 147 154 161 that is ruled out 
and then we have 168 175 182 189 196 that's it so only three more ruled out so seven is done now now let's get into 11 for 11 we know that 110 is divisible by 11 right so that is the first multiple of 11 now where is the next multiple so 121 ruled out now you can see the diagonal elements they will be divisible they are all divisible by 11 so 121 132 143 154 165 176 187 and 198 they are ruled out and finally we have the number 13 so for 13 uh, 13 7s are 91 13 8s are 104 so 104 and 13 is 117 then 130 then 143 and likewise you can go on and on and you will find only one number in the table of 13 that is 169 13 square is 169 now let's encircle the remaining numbers so 101, 103, 107, 109, 113 and then we have 127 look at the difference here one from 113 to 127 we have no prime numbers and so 128, 129, 130, 131 is the next prime and then 137, 139 and then we have the number 149 and 151 followed by 157 and then 163 167 then we have 173 179 181 and after that we have 191 193 and 197 finally 199 let's count the number of primes now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 and there we go these are the 21 prime numbers between 101 and 200 now see uh, the process is not at all difficult it involves just three steps and you get to all the prime numbers between 100 and 200 also so you have seen uh, how uh, you know these things can be learned and uh, very uh, important for the junior students and also for uh, the competitive exams you know the prime number concept uh, often is asked in various competitive exams so if you are preparing for any placement exams the concept can prove useful for you also so friends if you are liking all these videos which I have been posting on the channel, do share it with all your friends. Uh, I am sure they, it will benefit them also, whether they are school students or college students or preparing for any competitive exam. Do uh, subscribe the channel if you have not done till now and click the bell shaped icon that is important uh, so that you keep on getting the notifications whenever a new video is uploaded. Thanks for watching this video. Look for more such amazing videos on the channel. Till then, all the best.